What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, I got in some new tech and I don't know about you guys, but I really geek out like when I get this stuff in. And this time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set up like a test bench here to show you guys before I go ahead and implement it. And I'm super excited. So those of you guys that aren't familiar, my mining room, which is right here that we're currently still working on, has six of these. And these are the AC Infinity six inch inline fans. They're rated right around the 400 CFM and they've been working great and I'm really happy with them. One of the challenges with them is that traditionally, if you get the ones that I got, they come with this controller. And this is just nothing crazy. It's just a push button controller. So you can click it and it just increases the, there's a little LED ring on here and it just increases the fan speeds, um, zero up to 10. And it works great and it's cool. And it actually uses a Molex connector right here on the bottom. You guys can see that. So. I wanted to kind of take things to the next step in the mining room and I reached out to AC Infinity and they sent me some of these and I'm really excited because these are awesome and I've tested it out this afternoon and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So these are smart controllers. So if you notice on the bottom, there's two of the Molex ports uh, and you can actually see the Molex right here. And then there's another port. Guess what that's for? temperature and humidity uh, probe, which is really cool. So the way this works is you mount this on your wall or somewhere inside, outside your grow tent, inside, outside your mining room, whatever you wanna do. And then you have long Molex cables. Now they're not like your computer Molex, they're a little different, that run from here back to the fan. So if you come over here, I kind of created a little test bench for us to, to mess with. So over here we have the eight inch AC Infinity right around 800 CFM. And we have the six inch AC Infinity right around 400 CFM. Even though we have a difference of six inch to eight inch of two inches, the difference between this and this is double. Wait till we turn this on full blast later, it's insane. I'm gonna be installing two of these in my mining room in the next few weeks, so I'm really excited. So here's how we have this wired up. So. One fan, two fans. As you can see, they wire and go right into the fan. And then from there, it goes into the wall. And on the other side, the wire comes out, runs through, and goes into our fan, into this controller box, and then goes into our electrical outlet there. If you guys are actually interested, take a look at these things inside. They are beefy as anything. They're really cool too. Take a look at that. So like this is the intake side. So. Anyways, so we also have our probe and look how long this cable is. This is a 25 foot long cable and it goes to a sensor probe and this detects humidity and also detects temperature, which is awesome because both of those items are very critical within crypto mining. And then we have our controller screen here. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle of it. And the controller screen is not bad but trying to configure anything on here is not fun. So you know what they've done? They've gone ahead and created an app on your smartphone to completely configure this and monitor it. And it's amazing. So let me go ahead and bring it up on my phone and then I'm gonna show you guys how it works here. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be taking one of these and we're gonna install one of these in our mining room. Cause our goal is, is once the mining room is finished, I wanna install three of these in the mining room to help monitor and manage the temperatures. So let me get my iPhone here. Okay, so I went ahead and loaded up the app on the phone. And this is, man, it is so cool. Uh, it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how it works, but it's not too bad. So the way it works here is like, I'm gonna show you an example of how I'm gonna use it. So in any situation where it's off, I've gone ahead and set the minimum of fan speed to be one. And then when the fan is on, I've set the minimum fan speed to be 10, okay? Now, what you can do is you can come in here and uh, you can go to auto, and I'm gonna turn that on in just a second to show you guys because it gets really, really loud. But let me go ahead and go into the configuration tab. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted right down here, perfect. 
So under the settings tab, there's an automation piece. So you can fully automate this, like during the day, do this, during the night, do this. It's got tons of different automation options. But the nice thing is I like is under alarms. So in alarms, I've come in and I've said, okay, if it gets below 60 degrees Fahrenheit or above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to go ahead and actually make an audible alarm. This device will make an audible alarm anytime the auto mode sets in. So I'm re that's really sweet. I do like that. The other thing you can do outside of alarms, which I like, is notifications. You can get push notifications onto your cell phone. So I've come in here and set notifications, same thing. If it goes above 95 in my mining room, tell me. And if it goes below 60, tell me. And then you can also do the same thing with humidity. Now, I am piping in a ton of air from outside, so I can't really, I can't really deal with the humidity. Like I can't change the humidity aspect of it very easily. So I have turned my humidity triggers off. And then I also get uh, history and logs in here as well. So I have those turned on, which is pretty sweet. Then the nice thing is inside the app, you also have the option to fully look at your logs and your graphs for your temperatures, which is really, really nice because then you could start to look at this. You can even export it as a CSV, which is ridiculous. <laughs> like it's so cool. So I have not really figured out all the uh, cool bells and whistles in this but I've, I've done enough to be dangerous. So now what we're gonna do, you can see right now in the room that we're in right here, it is 75 degrees and it has 24% humidity. So what I have set in my settings is I have set it down to 70 to show you guys how this works. So I'm gonna back up a little bit here. So as you guys can see, I have set my triggers to be don't let it go above 70 and don't let it go below 60. So now what we can see here is it's detecting at 75. Look at that, you hear that sucker taking off? So you can see the fan speeds right now, I'm trying to talk louder, are 10. The speed, they're up to 10 on both of these units right now. L listen how loud that is. So what it's trying to do is it's trying to go ahead and cool things off right now. But it can't really do it because it's not really doing anything with the air. So it's never gonna reach 70 degrees, uh, which is the way that that works out. The nice thing is too, is you'll get a push notification to let you know that it reached, you know, it hit those temperatures. So let me go ahead here. I'm gonna bump this up now. So let me say, I'm gonna change that threshold to 75. So now it should start to power down. Look at that. Instantly, the fans up top here are now at eight, seven. So now it's gonna to start to come down because it says it's 74.2 in this room. So we are within that window, which is perfect and exactly what we want. So look, it's completely quiet. So now it's always gonna be at one. The fan speed is always gonna be at one. So then if you take a look, it's always spinning. So it's always moving some type of air through the system, even when we are within the range of where we want it to be. In addition to that, we got a push notification earlier. My guess is it doesn't re-trigger. Uh, that told us that, hey, you are not within, you know, you're not within that. Kind of gives you that nice little alarm there. And that was within here under, oh, let's see if I can bring it up. There it is, yep. So it brought up an alert here. I went into the settings of that alert for the history logs, but you can go ahead and go back and it goes ahead and alarms and alerts you, which is real, sorry, trying to do this one hand is really hard, which is really, really convenient. And I'm really, really happy with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install one of these. So let me show you where I have these right now in my mining room. So in the, oh, there we go. See, it's alerting. I just got, so it started beeping on me because we hit 75. Look at this. I just put my phone down. It just beeped and I just got a push notification and now it's going off. <laughs> so let me turn this up. So, oh, just got another, yep, there's the alert. Let me turn it up where I want it to be, which is 95. There we go. All right, cool. 
So that'll go ahead and adjust that there, which is great. So now let's go ahead and go in our mining room here. So in our mining room, you can see right now, this is 95 degrees right around here. See, I got a bunch of these. I got These are the Gobi um, uh, thermometers and I have magnets on the back of them just to keep track of the different temperatures in my mining room. So here is our inline fans, one here and one here. Now, right now, see how they're not going to anything? These are just unplugged, so they're at full speed uh, right now. We have two more over here, and then we have two more up here. These are the two that we're gonna swap out with eight inch ones in the near future. So what I'm thinking, just to test this out in theory, I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna screw it into here just for right now. That's not gonna be its final spot. I'm waiting for an access panel to come in. Uh, you see how this access panel is here? I'm getting one more custom made for there and one more for here. But for short term, I'm just gonna screw it into here. So give me a minute, I'm gonna get it set up. Okay, so I got this installed real quick. Something interesting I wanna show you guys. So like, okay, we're 98 here, you're 89 here, but take a look. We're 75 at the floor. So this guy's bringing in intake and so is this guy. So from the ground to the ceiling is a huge difference in this room. So here's what we did. This is what we installed as a mock setup. Right now we have this here, uh, 92 it says right now. So we have one going into this guy, one going into this guy. And then what I did was I ran my sensor just for, just for a test setup here. You see how it's right here in the middle, hanging at the top, because they said to put it at the highest point. So on my phone, the system is off. So it's not gonna do anything. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna set it to auto. So now what it's gonna do is it's not gonna do anything until it hits 95 degrees, and then it's gonna max out at 10, the fans at 10. In the meantime, the low is at 60, so it's not gonna do anything there either. Now, this guy is an intake, and this guy is an exhaust. So this system isn't gonna, isn't gonna jump in and try to do anything. But as you can see, it's, it's doing okay in here right now, which is great. So there's no point in having that up and running. So right now, these fans are currently running at one. So they're just running at the one speed. But if I come in here, and let's turn this down to 90, Now a notification just went off to let me know that we have breached outside of our threshold and take a look at the fan speeds now. It's just gonna start to crank up in order to meet that. So right down here, this air is starting to, now it's kicking in, that intake fan's kicking in for the intake and up top that exhaust fan is starting to suck the air out. Now we do have two other exhaust fans here and there. We're just talking about these two units here which are great. And I like putting them in parallel, one intake, one exhaust. And we can see here now it's at a full 10 and it's going ahead and working. And it'll be that way until that temperature drops down below 90. Once it drops below 90, then it's actually gonna go ahead and drop back down to one. So these are pretty sick guys. I can't wait until we finish up the mining room, get these installed, and then allow this to be more automated. The worst thing in the world is when like you're not around at home or anything like that. You know, you don't know if like any fans kicked out or had any problems. You don't know what the temperature is in your mining room. So th these are gonna solve it right here. These are the AC Infinity Controller 67s, and these things are amazing. If you do go ahead and buy one of the AC Infinity, uh, I think these are the T-Series, six inch or the eight inch, they come with one of these and it supports two fans. So it'll come with the AC Infinity uh, inline fan with one of these that plugs in with the sensor probe. And then you can always pick up a second one and plug right into here, which is awesome. So I'm gonna leave this one in place for now. Um, I could actually go get the other one hooked up and put it over here. And the last one hooked up over here if I want. I'll probably hold off until I finish making progress in the mining room. But 
I think that's it for today, guys. The video was long enough. I rambled on enough. If you guys are interested, go get yourselves one of these AC Infinity smart controllers over at acinfinity.com. I'll put a link down below. It will give you guys 15% off one of these if you buy it by itself or anything that you buy over on the AC Infinity store at acinfinity.com. Go get these, man. The AC Infinity inline fans, they're awesome. I mean, I wouldn't have two, four, six of them completely on my own before even our AC Infinity sponsorship if I didn't believe in the product. Well, guys, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.